I'm gonna do this all Now you have to sit closer. <laughs> oh, I'm good. You're just bigger. Hi, everybody. I'm Tabitha. This is my channel. This is <laughs> This is Corey. It's my brother's best friend, and we've known him for forever. I'm your brother's roommate. We're not friends. Oh, okay, sorry. He doesn't like living with Kian. He says Kian's nasty. No, I never said that. But yeah, he is. I've lived with Kian, and he's not that clean in his room. It's very cluttered. Anyway, so today we're going to do the questions that girls are too afraid to ask guys. But I posted a Twitter status, and everybody's questions is are kind of sappy. Oh, can't wait for this. Put <laughs> some more. He's done this video with Franny, and it was a huge hit. So... We're gonna do it for mine, but you have to switch That's up your That's because Crawford answers. was in it. When... Okay, so we have when... Okay, that one's dumb. That one's dumb. What do you do when a girl farts in front of you for the first time? Has a girl ever farted in front of you? No. Really? Oh my god, I die inside when it happens. I say, oh you nasty f and then I walk away. <laughs> Have you ever showered with a girl and she was peeing in the shower? What did you do? Do you care? I've never, I've showered with a girl, but I've never, I've never peed in the shower. I don't care. It's going down the drain anyways. Oh, you don't care? No. Oh. It might get loud in here right now because David and his friends are coming in. Oh, that coffee was hot. Ooh. All right. No, I don't care. Pee in the shower. Shit goes down anyways. Go mind us. I don't really love you no more. Oh my god, it's my no. favorite lolly. Mind us. Am I in this video? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Oh hell yeah, check it out. I just want to give a quick shout out to myself and my favorite lolly right here. The hottest lolly. That's right. You your favorite lolly? No. You like the ugly no, cousin that never you like a lolly, pop. Ooh. Oh. Ho, ho. <laughs> Coming in and looking like that? You look like a snack right now. I wish it was me. Yeah, whoa. You wish it was you? <laughs> now, our next question. What the heck? What video doing? Questions that girls are too afraid to ask guys. Okay, so I'll just ask George. I will really love you no more. This no. one's a good one. I want to know the answer to this one. Why do you guys use a sock? Okay, the reason why we use a sock because so it's kind of soft on our penises <laughs> and uh, it's easy cleanup. So you just kind of, you know, into the sock and it's really? not everywhere. Oh. What happens when you don't use a sock? It goes everywhere? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you use in place of a sock? Toilet paper. It's called the zombie. You wrap it around. Wait, what are we talking about? It's called the you zombie. Know. Why don't you use the shower? There's no cleanup. That's yeah, true. Yeah, shower. I don't like I, the shower. I would do it. It's slippery. That's why I guys just, wear shower shoes. I, just I don't like, like that. I like what do you mean? You sit down. I like it landing on my stomach and then just letting it dry and then peeling it off later. That's f you. Oh, what the fuck? George! Oh my gosh! It's like a face mask where you stuff it. Why do you guys think I have such great skin? Oh my oh, god! You're gonna be demonetized! Oh my god, that's horrifying! I already love you more. Do you guys wipe after you pee? No, you shake. Yeah, you just shake. You just shake it? You don't wipe it? Why would I wipe it? You just shake it out. Okay. Why would, yeah, why would, yeah. Yeah, I did no, not know that. Not, I don't think it's a thing for guys. It's what true. is the only circumstance that you sit down when you have to go number two? Um, no, if I'm tired. If I say that I'm tired, it's like late at night. I'll just sit down and like be on my phone. Do you turn the light on if you're tired? No. In the bathroom, I don't turn the lights on usually. I just use the hallway light because it wakes me up. Do you really care if a girl is shaved? Um, not really. It just can't be like. This down there. I'm out. I'm Actually, out. wait. I want to talk about this. Uh, uh, David has a complete different answer for this. Yeah. So growing up, my dad used to give me all his like what old Playboy, and it was just bush all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up, I would work it to women with bushes. Then my first girlfriend <laughs> in high school never shaved ever and refused to. So I was like, hell yeah, this is what I've been looking at this whole time. So now whenever I see a bush, I'm like, I get taken aback. It's like, well, like a throwback. Oh. It's a throwback bush. <laughs> oh my god, David. Really? It's a TBB. Yeah, I dig it. Because when you go, you know, when you go down there, you come back up and you're like, man, that was... That was uh, you can floss too for free. That was a good time. <laughs> oh, Fucking man. Dead. No, I don't like a bush. Well, not too much, but dude. I, I it don't get in your mouth. I dig it, dude. But I don't, I don't care if there's hair down there. I would not know. <laughs> okay. I see the hairy ass and that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> what? You saw your own ass? Yeah. I definitely shaved my butt oh, crack. Oh, you show, you saw Pablo's. 
Do guys care about how much a girl weighs, like their body image? Well, only I sometimes. Like, I was looking up with this thick girl, and I was like, oh, baby girl, you know what? <laughs> I was like, I can't do this, my legs are sick. Have you ever been catfished? Uh, no. My, yes. My ex one time met this girl on Tinder and he went down to I've, South Central LA and he met her and he had only and it was like total throwback pictures of her. I've never I've never met up with somebody through a dating app ever in my entire life. Is that because you don't get swipes or Yeah, we no, literally I've did a had, dating app video. Like I don't really use dating apps, I kinda like meeting people in person. You do too. You do I. I hate Back that. Back in the day when uh like uh Facebook and all that stuff was brand new, I had added this girl I didn't know. Brand and we new talk. That makes you four years old. How old are you? Way older than everyone. Really? Yep. So I remember going back and forth with this girl, and uh, we hit it off or whatever. I got her number. We talked on the phone, and then it came time to go pay it. Like we were gonna go out. I get to her house, and right when I'm outside her house, she texts me like, "Hey, I'm actually a guy using uh, girls' pictures, but I'll do anything to you better than any girl ever can." Okay, so what did you do next? So I went, I, I went in, and he was right. Oh, <laughs> it was way fucking no, better. I, I took off. I like this and now. We're like, oh. that's, and that's the but only I, reason yeah. why I live with guys. Now. I got catfished, <laughs> bro. I've never been like catfished, but I've all, but then I've seen. Uh, I met old people off Instagram. They don't look like they do on their Instagrams. Like, oh, true. Like they face to the fuck out of themselves. Yeah. That's that's another reason why I like to meet people in person because then they know what I look like in person, and then like my good moments that I post. Have you beautiful? Oh. On the line and off the line. I love that guy. I don't really love you no more. Are you, are you weirded out by periods? If a girl's on your period, is there no way that you're gonna hook up with her? I'm not, well, I'm not gonna fuck her if she's on a period. It's a little weird. Oh, but you'll do the other stuff? I feel like that's weirder. What do you mean? Oh, no. like, I'll, I'll make out with her or cuddle with her, but... Oh, okay. I was thinking like going down on someone no, when they no, have their no, period. No. I was like, Ooh. But I also grew up with a sister, so like I'm used to the really? period. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Who's your sister? I have an older sister. She's a year older than me. Does she live in our no, town? No, she lives in Shirley. But I grew up with her, so like I guess I grew up with that, so it never weirded me out. It's funny because like people are like, oh, I'm on my period, and this guy's like, oh, ew, I didn't need to know that. I was like, oh, I don't care. Okay, cool. I feel the same way. It's just natural. Have you ever peed? And your penis touched the water. And when you sat down, somebody asked that. I swear. Dude, how the, yeah, what the fuck? It's like fucking 14 inches or something? Like, no. What? Okay, my Have your Has your penis ever touched the toilet water when you've been to pee? No, that's too far. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Who has a fucking. Someone that's asked too, that. That's, that's, that's too big. I don't I don't even, if you get, even if you get hard, it's not going straight down, it's going yeah, up. It, like, goes, it goes up. There's no way, ew, so like, how do you shit? Ew. Ew. <laughs> you're pooping and your penis is hanging out in the water. My penis pisses on my balls all the time. The worst part is, is when you're <laughs> The worst part is, is when you're, uh, when you're taking a shit and it like comes up. It like hits the water, it's like a splash. Oh, Don't yeah. you guys know the hack? You put toilet paper down. Yeah, no, 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 I, I like when that happens. <laughs> oh, I totally agree. Get the <laughs> 34 too. Are you really? Each is round. <laughs> How what old are wrong? you guys? No, I'm 28. Oh, yeah, you're 23, George, I think. I'm gonna see his ID. Why do you guys twitch so much in your sleep? I don't even know if, we, if I twitch in my sleep. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know if you twitch in your sleep because you're asleep, duh. <laughs> what a like, dumb question. How? You've been with enough girls to tell you if you twitch in them. Oh, Whoa, Pablo said I don't get. Well, oh my god. I'm so sorry you let your girl that. sleep over after. Jeez, uh, that was savage. Okay, do you are you more into shy girls or outgoing girls? Shy. Yeah, definitely not outgoing. Yeah. Not outgoing. <laughs> so not you at all. No, not me. Not me. Guys, I'm out. Are you saying age as me? I'm 21, 1994. You're older than me. You're younger than me? Yeah, I'm 95. I'm the same age as your brother. Oh, I thought you were older than me. Nope. Do you care more about a girl's looks or a girl's personality? Personality. 
Mm. Depends what for to date. Okay, like what does their like when like you what do you want their ratio to be? Like what do you want like their looks ratio to be to their like personality? Like at least a seven in looks and like a nine in personality? Well I don't know because they could be a seven in looks, but if their personality shit, I think they're like a fucking four. Right. But if I they're agree. like a seven in their looks and their personality is really good, they can be a nine to me. Because like once you like fall for their personality, the things that you think that before that there were seven kind of fade away. Yeah, I don't know. A good personality makes up <clears throat> a lot of difference. If you're hot and you're a bitch, then just go <laughs> Yeah. See ya. Go fuck yourself, he wanted to say. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Would you rather have a threesome with two girls and you, or you, a girl, and another guy? Two girls. Would you ever do that? you and another guy and one girl? That's weird. There's like guy friends that I know that would like do that. I would never, never uh, put, be in the same room as another guy and a girl. Like, what's something that a girl would talk about on their on your first date that you would be like, I'm never calling this girl again? Like, would it be like her exes? Would she be only talking about herself? Would she be like complaining the whole entire time and never give you a chance to talk? Like, what was what's um, the deal? Like? I don't really care about the exes thing unless they're like always talking about them. But if it, like they're referring to something, like, oh, my ex did this and that's why it didn't work, then it kind of tells me like what she doesn't like. So kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, the thing that would piss me off the most is girls. Uh, when the guy, like when you initiate the conversation all the time and they don't rebuttal and give you conversation to keep it going. Okay. It's like you were saying something and they're like, oh yeah, that's cool. And then you have to say something else like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you're gonna talk yeah. back to me like why are you here? That's, that's like the number one turn up. Have you ever had sex in a movie theater? No. Why the f no. What's the dirtiest place? Uh, other top of the world. In San Clemente? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Inside your car or outside? Inside and out. Oh, yeah. like down in the lookout part? No, like just car door open. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. I think. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. I don't even think I've gone up there to have sex. You know what's crazy? It was like, I lost my virginity. That was my next question. Thank you. Where were you when you lost your virginity? My house. Your you house? Know the story? It's funny. I lost my virginity, and then I was like 15 and a half or something like that, almost 16. Okay. Right? And she came over. Hopefully this girl doesn't watch it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Please don't over, watch my videos. Uh, she came over, you know, we did it, did all that stuff. Um, I played it. I, dude, I was so young, I played a fucking soundtrack. Really? Yeah, I was played music, and it was like, Tyga, I got a badass bitch just bouncing over. Oh! <laughs> this is like classic fucking funny Corey. It's a funny story. Um, but she really didn't do anything. She kind of just laid there. And I was like, whatever. I was like, oh, that. I didn't have anything to do after. I was like, oh shit, my dad's gonna be home when I have to go to tennis practice, you have to leave. And then got her out. Like, I think like three days later, I hung out with another girl on, on, on the top of the world. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I didn't really expect much. It was and, a different girl? Yeah, three days later, yeah. I was a, hey, I had an Australian accent, I was Oh skinny, my god, what like, kind of player right here? Yeah, I was a player back oh in high school. Oh my god, a like. player, but a heartbreaker. Yeah. So then, the, yeah, but. Just 15 and carefree. Ugh. I was almost 16, yeah. I was slinging this around in high school. Oh, Jesus. I was never doing that. I'm a virgin. <laughs> Okay, me. I lost my virginity in Ladera in between some two random Ladera houses. Ladera Ranch? Yes. In between two random houses? Yeah. In between two random houses. Me and my two friends were camping in my friend's car. And, oh my god, I actually think that my friend watches these videos. But then, my the other friend that was in there, then he, I don't know, we just agreed. We were like best friends. And we agreed to lose our virginity to each other. And we went outside and we Wait, just you guys went in sex? between Wait. two houses. You guys lost your virginity to each other? I wish. She said best friends. We're not even friends. No. <laughs> oh. Corey! I'm gonna miss him when he moves out. I'm not giving you my address. You kind of look like JC right now. Hey, what's up guys? JC? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's all my nitty gritty questions I can think of. For that was it? I like talking about this stuff. It's when did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity at 17 and a half with uh, my high school. 17 and a half? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it was with my high school sweetheart, and she... David's whole life is just romantic. Boring, let's move on. No, <laughs> it was the worst virginity story ever. I asked her like seven times if she was ready, and she was like, yeah, I'm ready. And then we, had, we, we started, and I was like, wait, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, I'm ready. And I was like, oh. and then we would pump a couple more, and I'm like, wait, are you sure? And she was like, I can't believe you fuck me, you know, I want to have safe till marriage. And I was like, I fucking asked you, like six times. Dude, when did you lose your virginity? Where? When? Um, senior year. 
Okay. Really? What a late bloomer. I was like 15. No, what about you, Papa? No, 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 next! I, I had only, I'm gonna throw this I, ass back I, at 12. I had, Nobody cares. I had only had sex with two girls at In your the whole age life? of 22. Right Up now? until 22, only two girls. Congratulations. Wait, what are you at now? Now? Off camera? <laughs> like, yeah. Over 200? I'm at a fourth of that. What are you at? You at, you at like 50? It's pretty good. Real talk. It's pretty good. Have you ever seen a micro penis? I have. Yes. From a, uh, Wait, what, did you, what did you do? Okay, watch, well, check this story out. I was 19 years old. I had never seen anybody uncircumcised before. I had never, ever, ever seen it in my life. I'm so embarrassed for this guy, honestly. I feel so bad for him because, dude. I know, that, I know, then that's the day I fucking found out. That's the day I found out. I found out real fucking quick. So yeah, I found out what that Mexicans don't like get circumcised. It ain't girl, don't but fix it. Not Mexicans, but Spanish but people. But same with like circumcised, right? Like, Let me know. Um, my penis has so been cut. My dad was very <laughs> not really my interest, but my dad was very vocal about it. So yeah. you did. You yeah. are okay. So. Anyways, my dad was like, let me tell my story my, fast. My dad wasn't, and he got it older, and he was like, I'm never having like, my son go through that again. It was very yeah. horrible. Well, you that guy when he was older? Yeah. He said it sucked. He went out to the clubs and like <laughs> just like ripped up with his stitches. I and, circumcised yeah. my son. Okay, so check this out, okay? I was like 19. I woke up next to this guy. I had gotten drunk the night before. I didn't, like, it was dark. I didn't realize. So then we wake up, and then we're like, you know, going to hook up again, and then um, he wasn't hard. And then I looked at it, and I was like, <laughs> what is that? I was like, Said that out loud? Yes, I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> that is not a penis. <laughs> I know. I was like, I was like, what's wrong? Are you, Are you? okay? He's wearing a jacket. <laughs> I asked him. Is that a fucking inchworm? <laughs> it's a turtleneck. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what is that? And then he was like, what do you mean? You've never seen this before? And I was like. I have to get ready for work right now. You should probably go. I swear to God, that's a true story. Have you ever seen one since? <laughs> yeah, and I and I realize it now. Like I can like know, you know, if I'm like if it's like dark and I'm like working with someone that's like uncircumcised, then like now I can feel it. Like you can feel the difference. You can so can do. Yes. Oh my God. Like better or worse. Like it's just there's just more skin like it's like stretchy like it's pretty much like the skin like on your elbow like a little What is it? I, I don't know the difference. Uncircumcised, circumcised, what the fuck? Uncircumcised like, means it's still got the turtleneck on. Circumcised is just the head. Uncircumcised is with the extra skin, right? No. Yeah. Uncircumcised. uncircumcised, skin, uncircumcised. Yeah. uncircumcised. yeah. Now after that time, then I did a little bit of research and I was I like, I prefer my girls to just not have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, that's all my questions that I got for the boys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe and tell us about your most cringe mm -hmm. moment with your ex or your girlfriend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace out. It was a great intro. Subscribe.